Oakland Raiders star, linebacker, and defensive end Khalil Mack has become one of the league's most dominant and feared players since his 2014 rookie season. Mack is arguably the NFL's best defensive player today. I'm sure you all know about him. Or do you? What if we told you there was actually a man behind the football helmet that you don't know about? I'm Justin Fraction, and today we dive into 15 facts you probably didn't know about Khalil Mack. And we do hope you enjoy this video, and if you do, feel free to click subscribe down below for more cool videos every single day. Number 15. All-Around Athlete Mack started playing sports at the age of 5. Even though he's among the best NFL players, he actually started out playing baseball and basketball. As a child, he played Pop Warner Football, an organization that provides sports for youths between 5 and 16 years old. Number 14. Could have played hoops Mack was actually trying to pursue a college basketball career, hoping he would earn a scholarship. Mack suffered a patella tendon tear before his second season, and it derailed his career in basketball. But the head coach of his high school football team saw talent in Mack and convinced him to ditch the hard court for the gridiron. Number 13. A Scouting Mistake This is hard to believe, but Mack was only a two-star recruit by assistant coach Robert Wimberly at Liberty, the only school that was interested in him. Wimberly then headed over to Buffalo and brought Mack over. The rest is history. Number 12. Not Always a Team Player Back in the summer of 2012, Mack was gearing up for another strong season in Buffalo. However, he was suspended for a brief time after getting into a fight with teammate Fred Lee. At least he's behaved in Oakland so far. Number 11. The Numbers Game Mack wore the number 46 in Buffalo for extra motivation. That is, he was given a 46 overall ranking in the EA Sports NCAA Football 11 video game. He wanted to remind himself that his talents were being overlooked. Number 10. More Numbers Mack switched to the number 52 with the Oakland Raiders to follow a complicated NFL number system. The rule was then changed prior to the 2015 season, allowing linebackers to wear any number from 40 to 59. Ultimately, Mack decided to stick with 52. Number 9. Buffalo Legacy don't let his dominance in the NFL make you forget his legendary play at Buffalo. Mack has the most forced fumbles in NCAA history with 16. He also registered 75 tackles for a loss, which is also another impressive NCAA record. Number 8. A true team player after all. Never mind what we said earlier about the fight, Mack is a team player. In an interview with USA Today, Mack claimed that he would often clean up the Bulls' team locker room to lead by example. He said it was to take care of the team's equipment manager who looked after him. We're sorry we questioned you earlier, Khalil. Number 7. 2 is better than 1 As we mentioned earlier, Mack plays both the linebacker and defensive end position. In 2015, he became the first player to make the All-Pro first team at two positions in the same season. That year, he finished with 15 sacks and two forced fumbles. FYI, he also had five sacks in a Week 14 game against the Denver Broncos. Number 6. A new career awaiting Though his life is currently dedicated to football, Mack had another major talent. He learned to play the guitar during his college days in Buffalo and writes his own music. Number 5. Country Boy at Heart Mack is a huge fan of American country singers Tim McGraw and John Mayer. Who knows? Maybe he'll perform a duet with one of them if he ever breaks into the music business. One can dream, right? Number 4. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious Or however you pronounce that word. Anywho, Mary Poppins happens to be Mack's favorite movie. Maybe because in football he's super callo something docious Number 3. The Family Man Can Despite his incredibly busy lifestyle, Mac has plenty of time to spend with his family. He's close to his two nieces and often plays hide-and-seek with them. It's fitting because he seems to play hide-and-seek well with the opposing offensive linemen and quarterbacks who never see him coming. Number 2. Listen to your parents Mac was close to entering the 2013 NFL Draft, but he wasn't expected to be more than a third or fourth round pick. His mother encouraged him to finish up his degree in psychology. It turned out to be the right call, as Mac's value skyrocketed and he became the fifth overall pick in the 2014 draft. And number one, many can help you pop the question. During a 2016 regular season game between the Indianapolis Colts and Oakland Raiders, Mac helped a Raiders fan propose to his girlfriend at the Oakland Coliseum. Mac came on the video board and told the man's girlfriend that her boyfriend had a question. You're the man, Khalil. What other NFL star do you want to learn more about? Join us in the comments below. If you like this video and learned a thing or two, Clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.